Three years after a mysterious event imbues most of the female population, along with a few choice men, with individual superpowers, Amalia True, Laura Donnelly, finds herself as a foster mother to a legion of disowned women, and a defender for metahuman survival. Near future soothsaying abilities and support from her number two, the forge-like super tinkerer penance, Anne Skelly, help her track down new additions to the found family. But the British Empire, hoping to eradicate the touched population, and a band of violent rebels led by Malady, Amy Manson, suck Amalia into a class war that magic may not solve. When I first read the pitch, it was like one line, Victorian women get special powers and try and save the world, Donnelly tells Polygon. And I kind of thought, I don't know, it doesn't really sound like my thing. Then I went in for a meeting, and I got told the whole thing, like all the spoilers. I got told everything about Amalia and everything about the series, and I was completely hooked. I realized that it was so much more than what that one line was telling me. So what is The Nevers really about? In the premiere, it's about answering that fanfic why X-Men question. Though Donnelly teases a blossoming mystery, there's a simple pleasure to watching Amalia and her orphanage for gifted youngsters survive the ever-changing world, and overcome problems of the week through unique powers. Which isn't too surprising, behind the series are a team of genuine entertainers who know their television. Created by Joss Whedon, The Nevers is produced by Bernadette Caulfield, Game of Thrones, Douglas Petrie, Daredevil, and veteran writer Jane Espenson, and the first batch of episodes counts playwright Madhuri Shakar and sci-fi writer Melissa Iqbal among the writing staff. And like previous series from the creative team, The Nevers delivers fight sequences and ominous foreshadowing along with a familial element that makes it quite sweet. For Skelly, the light step came as a shock. I can't believe how little I've investigated what it means to be happy, or to what it means to be light, she says. For roles. I've always been in a dark headspace. Turns out, lightness and humor is quite hard to do. Top L, Donnelly as Amalia, Top R, Skelly as Penance, Bottom L, Frank Mundy looking for clues, Bottom R, Barrington and Kieran Sonia Sawar at the orphanage broken into two halves, with a six-episode run kicking off on April 11th and Part 2 arriving later this year, The Nevers opening act is also about building a brand new, believable sandbox. Actress Ella Smith, who plays Desiree Blodgett on the series, says stepping onto the lavish sets, a combination of real locations in England and enormous builds on the Pinewood Studios stages outside London, was like being in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang.